What's up guys, welcome back to Spare Change. In for review, I've got the Jam Ultra wireless Bluetooth earbuds. I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions after a few weeks of usage. But first, let's unbox them and see what we get inside. These retail for $119.99. They're Bluetooth 4.1 compliant and can be used for hands-free calling. Battery life is rated at 3 hours per charge. case, this can be used to charge the earbuds up to 10 times. We have some documentation and the earbuds themselves. They're fairly small, have connection pins, left and right indicators, LED status, and a button for on-off and pairing. No volume controls or any other functions are possible on the earbuds. They do come with different sized ear tips and are easily removed just by pulling them Under the flap is a micro USB port for charging the case and a full size USB that can be used for charging your cell phone or other device. I have the Samsung Icon X's I used for comparison. They're similar in size but the Samsung's have more functionality and controls on the buds themselves by being touch sensitive and they have health tracking built in as well. The Samsung's have a loop on the bud to help anchor them in your ear for a more secure fit. The Jam Ultras just sit within your ear so be sure to pick the correct size tip or you'll risk them falling out. For sound quality, I found them to be one of the worst sounding earbuds I've ever heard. If you've owned quality headphones or other earbuds, you'll notice this immediately. The highs I thought sounded harsh and I could hear the drivers produce a fluttering sound on the top end. Mid range was okay, but the low end around 60Hz on down had real weight and sounded good. I found this to be the opposite on the Samsungs, as those were light on bass but sounded decent for highs. Although I did hear the drivers on both produce the fluttering sound at a modest volume level. Phone calls sounded fine on the jams, but callers did say I was hard to hear at times. There are no controls on the jams, so all functions had to be done on the playback device. I was also able to get around 2.5 hours of playback leaving them on full volume and looping a song. They may last longer at a lower volume, but for the quick ride on the subway, or to stay tangle free during workouts, at $119.99 and lower in stores or online, I think they're a feasible investment for the convenience factor. They're small and light and easy to transport, but if you care about audio quality, I think you're going to have to give these a pass. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and give us a like, and we'll see you again in the next video.